is now where the British Parliament has rejected a no-deal Brexit proposal as Theresa May pushes for a third vote on her Brexit deal. Now, the British Parliament clearly does not want to leave the European Union without a deal, ruling out the no-deal exit on the 29th of this month. Tell us for the eyes, Nick Smith, lock the doors, order, order. All right, now the British lawmakers will vote to decide whether Brexit should in fact be postponed beyond the 29th of March. British Prime Minister Theresa May has warned of a long delay to Brexit if the lawmakers do not agree for a way forward, effectively saying that if they don't agree on her deal, then that only means more uncertainty for Britain. Understand and accept that if it is not willing to support a deal in the coming days, and as it is not willing to support leaving without a deal on the 29th of March, then it is suggesting that there will need to be a much longer extension to Article 50. Such an extension would undoubtedly require the United Kingdom to hold European Parliament elections in May 2019. I, I, I do not think that would be the right outcome. But the House, the House needs to face up to the consequences of the decisions it has taken. All right, so that is the reasoning which Theresa May has to give as to why she does not want to delay the Brexit deal. Theresa May, however, will now have to seek a delay to Brexit until the 30th of June, at least. However, the United Kingdom and the European law state that the United Kingdom will have to leave the European Union without a deal unless something else is agreed upon. But without consensus on a deal in the coming days, there will be a need for longer extension. Mr. Speaker, these, these are about the choices that this House faces. The legal, default, the legal default in UK and EU law remains that the UK will leave the EU without a deal unless, unless, unless something else is agreed. The onus is now on every one of us in this House to find out what that is. The options before us are the same as they always have been. But also the opposition leader, Jeremy Corbyn, has called on the government to find a consensus on the way forward and to take control of the situation. Labour has set out a credible alternative plan. Honourable members, honourable members across this House are coming forward with proposals, whether that's for a permanent customs union, a public vote, Norway Plus, or other ideas. Let us as a House of Commons, work now to find a solution to deal with the crisis facing this country. All right, now the next step after the Prime Minister's Brexit deal rejection is another vote tonight. The rejection of the no-deal Brexit has set the Parliament up for another vote. And this vote will, of course, decide whether Theresa May will go back to the European Union for an extension of Britain's withdrawal time limit. Now, the further result will, of course, depend on the Union to decide the terms of extension period of Brexit. Now, amongst the possible outcomes, should the Parliament be unable to agree on the terms of a deal, the Prime Minister might also have to face a general election or a possible no-confidence vote yet again in the Parliament. Or the chaos will, of course, further lead to the renegotiations, further voting or possibly another referendum. Now, the worst-case scenario would, of course, be no Brexit, an act of Parliament calling for Article 50 to be revoked would probably be sufficient to call Brexit off. But the leaders of the European Union will meet for a summit in Brussels on the 21st of March and then again on the 22nd, the 27 European nations will need to back the extension unanimously and decide as to how long it should be. But any postponement may have to be short-lived.